what you have to measure here is the vertical distance from the hole to the level to which the water is going to run down and that's, that's where I put my, my meter stick here that here is where it's going to hit that means that this is the um, height that you have to measure I believe I call it Y on my lab sheet and I come up with 80 centimeters then you have to measure the height uh, for the hydrostatic pressure and I come up with 24 point sorry 14 Point five centimeters, and that's what I use to determine the velocity according to the hydrostatic pressure with, and then I measure how far it goes, and I come up with 49 centimeters, and that's basically how I have to set it up and how you have to measure it. Thanks. This is a sample calculation for the data that I took during the video that I posted. So I measured a height of 14.5 centimeters. Um, I measured a Y, the height um, above the ground or meter stick uh, where I'm going to measure the X as well of 80 centimeters and that stays constant throughout the experiment. And then I measured a distance of 49 centimeters. That's how far the water went out. So I'm going to use these equations here. First of all, here's my constant of 80 centimeters. Here's the 14.5. Whoops, nope, that's the 49 centimeters. And here's the 14.5. Okay, with the 49 centimeters, I'm using this equation. So it would be 49 times the square root of 980 divided by 2 times. 80 and pay attention that you use 980 or 982 um, because we're measuring in centimeters here and then ideally put parentheses around the denominator with the 2y so I'm typing on my calculator on the side here 49 times square root of 982 divided by parentheses 2 times 80 close that parentheses, hit enter, and I'm going to come up with a rounded 120 centimeters per second. That's the um, speed with which the water does come out, and now the speed with which it should come out, that's the other equation, Torricelli's result, square root of 2 times 982 times 14.5. So that's what I'm typing in. 2 times 982 times 14.5 close the parentheses and I come up with 168 and around it that's around it 170. Now ideally the two velocities should be the same, the velocity with which it should come out versus the velocity with which it does come out. Notice that they are actually quite different. That's why I have you calculate a percentage and I come up with around it 71%. And then you proceed with your other data, with your data, um, and then once you're done, I will give you the clue why perhaps the two velocities are not the same.